Today, I'm gonna be giving you guys an in-depth review of the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Reverse Mocha. And you know it's only right that I give you a comparison with the first two colorways as well. And to make things even sweeter, I got a second pair and this one's for you. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out how to enter. So if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys dope in-depth reviews like this. So I'm excited to get into it. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So when it comes to the reverse mocha, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen these in hand or other people's reviews. But before we get into the studio, you know what time it is. We gotta talk about the history first. So as we all know, Travis Scott has been doing collaborations with Jordan Brands for the past few years now. And almost every single one of his sneakers have been high Highly sought after and very very expensive to say the least back in 2019 we got the low top version right here and during that time not everybody was a low top fan but I can guarantee you this sneaker right here alone definitely changed that game in a couple years following that release in 2021 we then got the Travis Scott low top fragment Air Jordan 1 this also had a high top version as well that went with it but a lot of people were more fans of the low top version simply because of the color blocking alone and because the Trav Frag low came out recently in the past year or so it's definitely been a a lot more accessible sneaker for a lot of people and I can guarantee you over the past year you have definitely seen a lot of people wearing this sneaker so now we're in 2022 and we have the reverse mocha that just came out and everybody's been going crazy over these and honestly I feel like they're a little overpriced and don't worry at the end of the video we'll talk about pricing rarity and predictions on future releases and how those prices are going to be as well because we're expected to see a couple more low top set to come out this year as well in the winter time so there's gonna be a lot of stuff when it comes to the Travis Scott energy especially around the low top versions alone. So now let's hop into the studio real quick so I can give you guys a nice in-depth review of this shoe. Now before I crack open this box, we gotta talk about Soul Steel. Soul Steel is a membership based platform that does shock drops throughout the week and guaranteed drops every single Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. They have crazy restocks all the time with thousands of shoes hitting the app and I can guarantee you, you can find samples, PEs, one-offs, and a whole lot of the latest and greatest releases. Prime example, I struck out on this shoe on Sneakers app, but I was still able to get a pair from Soul Steels, and hopefully I can help you guys get a pair as well, which we'll talk about later in the video on the raffle and how that's gonna go. I've personally been using Soul Steels for a few years now, and I love it. I've gotten so many releases, and if all you guys that watch my channel, you know, I've gotten a bunch of things from their site before. So if you haven't heard of them before, make sure you check them out, because I can guarantee you they always got the best prices in the game. Hit the link down below, in the description to get set up and trust me it is well well worth it they be putting shoes on their app for a dollar ten dollars mystery boxes they got so much different stuff they got toys collectibles a whole bunch of cool stuff i love using them all the time again i get shoes from them often so that's why i'm saying it i'm letting you guys know and i'm excited to partner with them but with all that being said let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what these shoes are talking about so starting with the box right here you have your classic air jordan one og style box but it's got a different twist it's got that more glossy vibe with the tan and and then the matte brown right here with the Nike in the swoosh. And that's also on the sides back and front of the box. And on the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Low OG SP, Sale University Red Ridge Rock. Now I know everybody likes to call these the reverse mochas, but technically they're not that color. But at the end of the day, it's okay because you know us sneakerheads, we always got our nickname for every shoe. Now taking off the lid of the box right here, you have your classic Travis Scott pink paper with the Cactus Jack logo, the face, and the Nike Air, and the Air Jordan Wings logo. And then peeling back that, you got your white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got this shoe now starting with the bottom you got your classic air jordan one outsole with the all brown vibes we we'll call it the ridge rock not the mocha but we'll still call it mocha you got a sail colored midsole with the sail stitch you also have a sail swoosh on the outside of the foot with a tumbled leather and then on the inside of the foot you have a white tumbled leather right here so i know some people may or may not have seen that already but i made sure i wanted to point that out for you guys because i showed that to a couple people and they were like low-key confused they didn't realize that the inside had a white swoosh instead of a sail swoosh now going to the rest of the upper you got your simple reverse color blocking here with the two tones so you got your brown suede or should we call it ridge rock suede and then we have a white leather tumbled all around the rest of the toe and the back end around the heel and then you have a red stitch right here on the back end with the air jordan wings logo on the right foot and the cactus jack face on the left foot and these come equipped with a pair of sail wax laces and an additional set of white laces 
brown laces and red laces and honestly i feel like low-key any of these four laces will look good in this shoe i might be interested in changing these up it's going to take me a little bit so i'll think about it but let me know which lace option you would go with when it comes to these four colorways now on the top of the tongue you got your nike air branding right here with the white patch and the red stitch and then on the side of the tongues classic with the travis scott ones you got the cactus jack branding patched right here on the right foot and right here on the left foot looking at the inside of the foot you got a brown sock liner and a brown insole red jump man on the left side Travis Scott branding on the right with the Cactus Jack and then also one thing I forgot to mention as well you got the Cactus Jack printed right here on the inside of the foot in red another iconic hit that we have seen done on the Travis Scott Air Jordan ones each and every time now as you can see when it comes to these three models right here the shoes are pretty much the exact same when it comes to the branding and all those type of aspects the only thing that's going to switch up is going to be the materials in different areas and then the color blocking in different areas as well but essentially everything is pretty much the same when it comes to the overall mold and brand branding especially on these two versions because it's like the mocha and reverse mocha now we know there are going to be a little bit different hits when it comes to branding because this was a fragment collaboration as well so they switched the cactus jack on the back end right here and added the fragment logos also stamped on the back end of the heels another thing that you can obviously see as well on the presentation when it comes to the boxes you're going to have three different boxes right here this is more of a matte brown with the red finish on here and this is more of a glossy sale with the matte brown finish and then you got your all over sleeve right here with the translucent and it's got the fragment and the travis scott and all that stuff and then you got the matte white with the blue finish on here on the box so a lot of cool elements in the design and display aspects as well of these sneakers now let's take it back to the office and talk about opinions and prices now that you guys have seen an in-depth review of this shoe i'm excited to see how you feel about these down below in the comment section and i'll be giving you guys my impressions in a little bit but first i need to see what y'all think about this shoe and the other two shoes compared against it so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on ig so you can participate in all all the polls that I post there and see all the results here on the channel but basically I asked the people the simple question is this shoe fire or is this shoe trash and I asked each shoe individually so I guess whichever shoe has the highest percentage means that's the one that people like the most so let's see what the people said so when it comes to the OG low top version right here we have 90% saying fire and 10% saying trash and honestly that's a pretty high percentage and it makes complete sense to me because low-key this is still my favorite colorway out of the three now for the trap frag low this one is very very close too it's 89% to 11%, which means that's essentially like the same, but technically it's 1% off. Who knows? They might've just voted something a little bit different, but basically to me, the people are saying this one is a very close running up shoe to the OG model as well. And everybody likes this one. And don't get me wrong. I like this one too. I just, you know, I like the OG a little bit more, but these are still fire. Now for the reverse mocha, this is something that I'm definitely really interested to see how everybody feels. I know it's a new release, so that kind of has a lot more energy around it and people may have missed it or whatever it is. So that kind of draws some hype. But anyways, let's see what the people say. Right here, we have 90% to 10%. So that's also matching up with the OG colorway. And essentially all these are around 90% to say the least. It might be one or two votes off, but at the end of the day, it's basically like an even fight when it comes to the three shoes. So for me, if I were to rank these sneakers, I probably would go with the OG color first, the fragment color second, and then I would go the reverse mocha third. Now that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now, when it comes to pricing, this is a great representation on showing you how sneakers go up in value over time, especially if it's a dead stock pair, because typically the more years from the release, the higher the value goes up, simply because people start to wear them. Next thing you know, they want a new pair again, and it's harder and harder to find year after year. So anyways, with the black and brown pair right here, you can see the last sale was around $2,300, and they're currently hitting for around 1900 to 1700 bucks. We know the sneaker market is down right now, but either way, I say roughly, if you were to go to a sneaker resale shop or something like that, you're probably going to be spending somewhere around low $2,000, high 1900, somewhere around there. So that's kind of the pricing on the original black and brown colorway. Now, when it comes to the black and blue fragment Travis Scott collaboration, these are going to be hitting for around 1300, 1200 bucks, somewhere around there. And that is still a solid price to say the least. And I think it makes complete sense when you say, okay, Okay, based off of resale values and everything like that, I could understand why all these three sneakers may be worth over a thousand dollars just based off of comparable numbers from the previous OG release to the second release, saying that it's around half the value of the OG, but at the same time, it's still a twelve hundred dollar shoe. Now, when it comes to the new release on the reverse mocha, these are going to be hidden for right around one thousand dollars. Originally, they were like sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred bucks, even close to two thousand dollars. And as the release started to happen, next thing you know, the price started to go down, which typically happens 
happens with a lot of releases. So right now the sneakers hitting for around that thousand dollar range. I'm a size 13 as well. So take that into perspective based off of pricing and everything, because I know it may vary on sizes, but at the end of the day, like I said earlier, you can easily understand why these three sneakers are all going to be worth at least a thousand dollars or more, depending on, you know, when the shoe came out, how many pairs were, how hard they were to get and all those other factors with the timing and everything like that of the releases. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's still a thousand dollar shoe. So next comes the question that everybody always asks me, what should I do? Should I buy them now? Should I wait? Are they going to go down? Are they going to go up in value? What's happening? The shoe game is crashing. What should I do? I don't know. At the end of the day, like I always tell everybody, I'm a sneaker collector first. So if you like the shoe, get the shoe. That's what you want to do. Go ahead and cop the kick. Now, when it comes to pricing and if you're trying to resell and all this other stuff or get the best value for what you got it for and hoping that the shoe goes up in value over time and you're able to wear the sneaker and then it's worth more later, even though you worn the shoe, because that happens a lot for us sneaker heads. We know that predicament as well. I think it is a solid time to purchase right now. I think you probably can find somebody in your local market to be able to get the shoe for a little bit cheaper than paying the fees or going to a consignment shop that is then charging a little bit more than that stock X price and all the different stuff right there. But I think right now trying to get the sneaker for around, you know, under a thousand dollars, if you can find it, say, Hey, you know, after fees and everything, I'll pay you, you know, 850 or 800 or 900 or something like that. I think that makes sense. I feel like a lot of people are going to want to wear that shoe right now. And over time, they're going to wish that they still had a dead stock pair. So if you're able to have a crispy pair on ice, or especially if you got the shoe for retail at like 150 bucks, I think you're going to be a okay and have nothing to worry about. And if you don't care about any of that stuff, and you're just waiting to the end of the video to find out how to get this pair for free, well, let me tell you how to enter. What you're going to need to do is click on the first link down below in the description or the link pinned in my comment section. And once you have gotten signed up for Soul Steals, now all you're going to have to do is go inside of your membership and enter into the raffle. And then we will be selecting the winner at the end of this week. And from there, we will announce it and ship the shoes out. I'm excited and always thankful for teaming up with Soul Steals, especially with having this being the ultimate sneakerhead giveaway week. And we have been giving away so much stuff from sneaker cleaners, duffel bags, display cases, sneakers, all different types of stuff, everything that I want to give you guys as much as I can. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate Soul Steals. And again, if you want to enter to win, this is your chance to win a pair for free. So hit that link down below in the description or pinned in my comment section. I'll see you guys in another one. Appreciate you Soul Steals as always. All right, y'all. I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.